And welcome back to daytime, RogersTV.com. Sabrina has been in the daytime kitchen and she returns with blueberries. You make crepes and you bring us blueberries. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone's trying, obviously, to suck up to our next guest, <laughs> Kari from uh, Empower Conditioning. Who, me? What? Knowing that uh, oh, um. Kari's all set to talk about that post-holiday problem that we've it's all called got. the bulge. Yeah. It, it happens to most of us. You can you can literally feel yourself getting fat <laughs> oh, over I can the feel myself, you know, yeah. you just sit there and you're like, wow, that last cookie maybe <laughs> a little too much. That uh -huh. eggnog, no. That's why people you, pull you out the stretchy it. pants and attend exactly. all their dinners in stretchy pants. Exactly. And that's saying. how that's how it slowly creeps. All of a sudden that five pound holiday thing turned into 10 pounds over the winter. And then by the spring, you're, you got a 15 pounds you didn't have the year before. And you feel defeated when that happens. Like you really do. It's tough, tough to deal with. And, and it's a lot harder to lose it than it is to gain it. Oh, gain it, the gaining is the easy part. Yeah, a lot <laughs> less fun. So All we've right, got some us. steps. Help we've got us. some steps. Okay, the first step, we're gonna go with a little acronym here. It's gonna be MCAR. And it's gonna be M. The okay. first one is M and that's for measure. And got a couple props here. One really easy thing can be just a little soft measuring tape, mm -hmm. some chest, waist, and hip. You've got a really simple measure that's quantifiable. You can look back on it and you can compare. Okay. So that's a good one. Scale is okay too. I was gonna say, what's wrong with the scale? Um, it's it's not bad. Uh, it's just it is what it is. Numbers don't lie, but they don't tell the whole story either, right? So. Your scale, if you have some water weight gain, some muscle mass gain, it's not going to tell you what's what. However, for most people who know their body pretty well, they're going to realize that, okay, that's probably fat <laughs> and that's probably some extra bloat going on. So, you know, the scale is okay, but this will just refine that measure just a little bit more by going with a chest, a waist, a hip. That's as simple as you can get. Oddly enough, the battery on my digital scale kind of it just it died <laughs> before the holidays. Somebody Convenient. Weird, it out and flushed it down the toilet. It's weird. <laughs> and I haven't replaced it. Oh, oh my no. heavens! What is that? <laughs> this is a skinfold cal caliper, and it's a Harpenden, which is a very good one, so very accurate. But this is what you do if you're getting a lot more technical. So this is this would be getting a di doing a whole body comp, doing your skinfold. So and where do you do that? Anywhere? Um, you have different formulas, and different formulas have different sites that you go. So it would be a seven yeah. site. We usually can do you, a. Can you do it here? I, I could, but it's here. not going to feel good. That's all right. <laughs> Let's see. Usually we Let's grab, see. we so you, pinch. So you and take then a measurement at various parts of your body, and, and you then use. I look. Ew. And you okay, if it's bad, don't tell people. <laughs> yeah, really. What's Keep that to yourself. So really, th that's usually not a site that I do in the formula that I work with, but usually I'm getting a, a chest, there's a, an abdominal site, a hip site, a back site, a thigh site, and then it goes into a formula, and based on your, your age and your, um, your gender and those things, and then it spits out what your body f composition, your, your percent body fat is. And there are more accurate ways to get that, which could be a bod pod or, you know, um, if you go to the university, there's another spot in, in the city that can do that. But that's super, super technical and accurate. Don't let something like that stop you from finding your own measure. It's simple. You can do something at home that's, that's really simple. Sure. If you're more intricate, then you can get a professional to do something like that. Okay, okay. that's one letter. We one got letter. a lot more letters to go. M, second M is gonna be to make a decision, make a goal. You have to know what you want. So for one person it might be, I wanna lose five pounds. For another person it might be, I need to get fit again. I huff and puff when I walk around the block. So the second M is make that goal, decide what it's going to be. The third one is to commit. I have a client who knows there's an event coming up. She bought the dress already. The dress is a tiny bit too small. It's not a wedding or anything like that, but the dress is just a little snug. She has committed That's a big hardcore yeah. to oh what she's got to do. Another example, commitment to if you've registered for an event, Sabrina, yep. storm the oh, time. Here's, that. here's your registration sheet. Yeah. Right there, wow. There All you right. go. Yeah, so yeah. another so one is to register for something you know, that's the commitment. Yeah. Then you've, you've put yourself out there, you've done something that you, it's really hard to go back on. Pay right? the registration fees. Right, yeah. exactly. So this is, this is one event that I, I, I'm committing to do. I gotta, 
I got to pay the cash to do this. It's Storm the Trent. Uh, and then I've actually just, I've already registered for the big marathon in Rome. Huge, yeah. Very, so I'm very committed. Good. Yeah, you're in. Okay, oh, so boy. there's the C in. for commitment. My husband and I have registered for that one, so we're in as a team on it. So okay, we've, we've done the commitment. The you. next <laughs> one is action. And this is one that I call it uh, paralysis by analysis. The person who, oh, I don't have the right shoes. Oh, maybe I should figure out whether I'm going to do this or that, or I've got to research this before I do it. Then you're paralyzed by analyzing too much. Just do something. Start moving. Start Even if it's not the right thing yet, at least you're starting to do something right. and getting some calories burned. Throw out the crap in your kitchen. If there's that last Tupperware of baking and you're sick of it and you're done and you've committed to something, get rid of it, give it away, throw it out, whatever you gotta do. So the action, just get the action going. Any action is better than none. Exactly, okay. exactly. And the last one is R and that's for reinforcement. And this is where, you know, for this I registered with my husband. I got a buddy to go with me. So, right. well, he's more than a buddy. He's my husband. <laughs> but you've got that partner. Tell your friends, get a family member involved. Tell your kids, whatever it takes, get some more reinforcement. The measurement, you're going to remeasure, plan to remeasure after two weeks. So that's going to help reinforce and also provide more incentive because you've got other people encouraging you, somebody to do it with you, and you've got the numbers that are going to keep you going. But it's also somebody to call you out when you get off track, right? Totally, because we're, we're human. We make mistakes, it, you know, and we make this plan, oh, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to have those setbacks. That's where you either get a professional like me, you've got somebody to keep you kicking you in the butt, get you going, or you have that friend, you've got the husband, you've got somebody who's your partner in crime, they're doing it with you. So you, someone to call you out too when you're kind of... See, she's lucky. Yeah. She's got all TV land to call her <laughs> out on things. Me? You do. Yeah, Ron, Ron, yeah. yeah. real lucky. <laughs> London at Rogers Watching TV. every Com step. Next time address. someone sees me going through the Tim Hortons drive through There you go, just fire off an email. Are supposed to be running a marathon? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Carb you can't Logan. have this donut. No, you can't. <laughs> Kari, out of all these steps, you've got five steps, which would you say is the most challenging? Um, Taking the action, people have a hard time if they have to get up every morning to do the early morning workout before they go to work, if they have to throw out the stuff that they've kind of become addicted to the sugar. That's the hard thing. Sugar's it's tricky, especially after the holidays. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that, that one. You it, start it, to crave it. You yeah. start to crave it. But on the flip side, what really happens is about 10 days to two weeks of not having as much of the sugar you don't crave it as mo much anymore and you do want the better things. So if you just kind of get out of the rut and start going on a different path, it does make a huge difference. But it is really hard for people to get started and getting go to get going. Once you're moving, it makes a huge difference. You just kind of get that little incentive, you realize how much better you feel and then you don't want to miss and that's a huge thing too. January 4th, a great day to get started. Absolutely. I love there it. you go. Got a little thing for you here. Uh oh, with the power oh. water bottle. Oh. Yay! Should we going more incentive. There, there you go. Now I'm prepared. Merry Christmas. I'm, Thank I'm you. Ready. No problem, guys. All set to go now. Now that I have my water bottle. There you <laughs> Good go. Stuff. Thanks so much, Kari. No problem. All right, Happy and I'll, New Year. I'll fill that out and commit today. I promise. Well, I'm decide whether you're going to do it yourself or whether you're going to get a team because you can get a team of four to six. So you know, Ken, you could do it with her. And uh, just I saying. Could. Good. All right. <laughs> I, I'll uh, first. I got to measure first. I can't do anything until I measure. <laughs> well, you measure. Let's have a look Here. at our pet of the day. <laughs>